Hey guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today, I thought it'd be fun and kind of interesting to do a bit of a challenge run against the uh, Red Zone stage of Janemba by using a full Gogeta team. So, you know, recreating the movie a little bit. Uh, hopefully we can get the uh, both the physical Gogetas to fuse. I've brought double physical Gogeta leads. A, to make it a bit more of a challenge, because we only have the 180% leader skill, but also because we would like to get at least one of them to fuse, so we can get the uh, Super Gogeta out, since we want this challenge to be, like, you know, movie appropriate. So, we want to get either the physical Gogeta out, or the uh, tech Gogeta. Ideally, if we get the finish with one of them, that would obviously be pretty good. Now, we're running a full Gogeta team. That does mean we have units like this STR, uh... Vegito Blue, who, uh, sorry, Gogeta Blue, who's definitely, did I, have I said Vegito already multiple times? I have been saying Gogeta, right? <laughs> but yeah, so STR Blue Gogeta, definitely not the best, but at least in slot three here, he does have the uh, dodge chance. So we're uh, ideally going to want him to dodge, and that's it. That's why I put our boy Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in slot one. Type advantage, obviously he is better after he supers, but get that super attack counter in. That is exactly what we wanted to see. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, obviously no Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas in the uh, Janemba movie or Super Saiyan Blue, but it is what it is. Um, don't really want to bring in or STR Super Gogeta into this stage. Um, the AGL one, I mean, when you factor in, of course, he has that dodge chance, but like... Well, if he doesn't dodge, he's probably getting absolutely annihilated. So, I feel like this is probably the only real way we can make the team work and have it be full Gogeta. Um, definitely going to need you to dodge. Hey, there we go. I'm pretty sure I've done trial runs of this already. Because uh, when I say this is a challenge run, this is definitely not easy. Um, but yeah, I have had uh, that STR Gogeta in this first phase. Takes almost 200k from normal attacks, which is pretty crazy. Um, so, are we expecting a slot 1 super attack again? I'm hoping not. I obviously did not want both of these guys on the same turn at any point, so not ideal. Uh, we also don't have the best key links with um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta here, so we'll have to do this. It's the only downside to these units that fuse into the fusion characters, is obviously when they're unfused, they don't have the best... Um, the best links and everything so am i gonna need to use an item here i feel like if i get hit with a super by on almost anyone right we potentially die but both the lr physical gogetas have that 30 percent chance to dodge okay yeah dodge. Oh, i was gonna say if they don't dodge that we're just dead straight up um so that was 100k pre super so what are we looking like afterwards because we have the friend gogeta in slot three um if they could get a double super i bought a friend gogeta that has like 20 additional um wow you still take 66 all right well as long, they should be taking less than 100 because they are at least raising their defense with a super attack but okay double super that's we needed that this they're still going to get hit for like 50k i would imagine Oh, wow, double do Okay, well, that's the significant increase in their defensive capabilities once they get a super attack off. So, definitely not designed to be a slot one unit. So, I brought this for the heals. Um, the LR Super Saiyan 4s are on the team. Now, obviously, for them, um, they're, on a two they're not on their leader skill. So, they are going to be a little bit weaker than we would expect to see in uh, other team builds. But... I thought it would be a bit more of a challenge to bring them, like, as a friend, rather than bringing double LR Super Saiyan 4 leads, because, I mean, I actually did the original Janemba run with double LR Super Saiyan 4 leads. Obviously, the team looked very different to this, um, not being a full Gogeta team. But yeah, I thought like I felt like running double LR Super Saiyan 4 leads would probably make it a little bit too easy, because obviously they are pretty goaded. Um, in fact, they might even finish Janemba off here if they get the triple super. Because did we get... We got 24 key, I believe, right? To get the... Yeah, effective against all types. So, a lot of damage from them there. And then, uh, no super, please. Okay, perfect. I don't know if Ink Gogeta is going to be able to finish the job here. But, we, uh, should do a nice amount of damage and be able to tank nicely, even if he doesn't. So, or we could just get a double super. I'll take that as well. 
So double super attack. All right. We're looking good so far. We haven't used an item yet. And we are on to the actual Super Janemba stage. So this is where we have to start being really, really careful. Um, I think I probably am just going to Whis straight away. Especially because we have STR Blue Gogeta on the turn. Um, and he's type neutral because it's Int Janemba for the first phase. So I think we kind of have to play... Ooh. Oh, damn it. I was going to say, I thought all those AGL or uh, physical orbs were connecting at the side. Because, I mean, look at this for key for the actual physical Gogeta. That's super, super annoying. Um, we can set up, and unfortunately, I was going to say, we could set up key for next turn. But, unfortunately, Janemba changes orbs every turn. Changes the orb layout. So, we obviously can't even actually, like, plan ahead, which is really annoying. So, we'll do this. Um... And then I guess we'll do this. And hopefully we'll see how the orbs uh, change on the next turn. Because otherwise we should have a good setup of orbs here. Additional super maybe? Oh, okay. Well at least they take double digits from normal attacks. Um, would have preferred a dodge or for, you know, like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to get supered and get countered. But this won't do too much. 128k. Because ideally, remember, we got to aim for this, like, sweet spot, right? We want to be either below 50% HP to get the fusion with the physical Gogeta, or we need to be above, is it 70 or 75, to get the f active skill fusion with the tech Gogeta. But at the moment, we are stuck in that gap in between. So, ideally, what happens here is we don't take a lot of damage. If blue Gogeta can just get dodges here, that would be really good. Um... Because next turn, the Whis is still active. Pretty much guarantees... 30k, okay, that's not too bad. That pretty much guarantees we get the five-year... Uh, sorry, the three-year fusion. Oh, okay, perfect. Um, okay, yeah, actually, this works out really well. Because if I do this, you've got type advantage in the final spot. So we don't have to worry about you. So we can do this. I should have fused, because then full Gogeta, right? We actually need to get Gogeta out if we want a full Gogeta team, but uh, I don't want to get too much HP, so we need to not get same type orbs, so we'll do this, and then we'll do this. Alright, perfect. So we should survive the turn um, with the Whis up. We're only getting attacked on physical units, so I would be very, very surprised if we die with a Whis active here. Especially because both of our physical units are being attacked after they've super attacked and raised their defense. So this should now guarantee that we go into turn 6 with Gogeta, uh, get the fusion. Which actually is next turn. Do we have Tech Gogeta on the next turn? Because we could get double Gogeta fusions on the next turn, which would be pretty nice. Um, the LR Super Saiyan 4 is taking the super. With the Whis up, this shouldn't do too much damage. 85k. Well, there you go. And now we know with the item active after supering, the three-year Easy Ego G is going to take double-digit damage. And then that secures the fusion on the next turn. So that has worked out quite nicely. I think Tech Gogeta is on the same turn. So the fusion from the physical Gogeta puts us to full HP. And then boom, we're above the HP threshold to get the fusion for Tech Super Gogeta. So this is actually all working out quite nicely. Unfortunately, we're out of the physical phase for the next turn because then of course the three year LR Gogeta would have type advantage although he gets effective against all types anyway so damage wise it's not going to make too much of a difference and we get to fuse tech Gogeta which means we get the scouter effect as well so here we go here's the three year version of the fusion um Hey, man, when that first came out, I remember when the third anniversary came out for Dokkan. And that was, like, the hypest thing ever. The, the Patara and Fusion Dance fusions for uh, Gogeta and Vegito. But now, here we go. Now we can do this. Now we can see the uh, 2021 quality version. <laughs> Look at that. Never gets old. So yeah, that's the difference uh, just over four years makes. Because I guess... Actually, no, wait. They, they The Gogeta came out after the six year, but before the seven year on JP. So about three and three quarters years. Three and a half plus years. What a difference that makes, huh? So the super attack is in the middle from Janemba. Is Janemba... Is there any way to check? Does Janemba have a... 
unarmed super attack or whatever it is. Let me actually bring that up here real quick. I'm just going to randomly look this up in the middle of the video. Because does Janemba have the super attack that Gogeta would counter? I would assume so, right? Just because of the fact that we are fighting him with... I mean, they've designed some of these stages to be on point. So, his super attack... Actually, which one does he even do in his... Oh, he's in his... He's in the rage mode, right? And it is a... Is that a weapon super? What does Gogeta do? Nullifies unarmed super attacks. So, I don't think it is the unarmed one, is it? Because is, is it going to be the 18 key super that he does? Or the 12 key? It's got to be the 18 key, right? So, yeah, he's not going to get the super attack nullification, which is kind of annoying. Um, so, I guess I have to do this. I really want to see this guy linked up with himself, though, because look at that. Do we just win? I don't know. Let's let's go for it. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to use the Whis because I feel like if we, if we aren't nullifying it, no Whis means we just die. So, we might as well use the Whis. Go for this. I'm pretty sure it is because it's a weapon one, right? So he's not going to nullify it. But we might just kill him. So 6.9 for physical Gogeta here. Old OG Soul Punisher. I mean, technically the OG was the STR one. So that is the slightly better version of it. And then we have the uh, 5.6. So hey, both of these LRs are rainbow level 10 links for me. Now, obviously, the physical one has an easy A. But hitting harder than the tech one. Pretty crazy. Um, Alright, so... Pretty sure we don't nullify this. <laughs> we should live, though. Yeah, we don't. 137k. Okay. Well, we live. Um, would have been... I guess it would have been kind of cool if we'd taken enough damage to then fuse with the other Gogeta on the other turn. But that is not going to be the case. But there you go. Full Gogeta team. We managed to bust out both the Super Gogetas against Janemba here. I'm sure people were already typing out in the comments while I was looking it up that you can't nullify uh, his super attack. But, oh, look at this. We can just go active skill crazy on this turn. All right, let's do this. Why not? Let's get all the Gogeta active skills off on this turn. Man, I miss using these units. I want the five-year LRs to easy A so bad because they dropped off, like, way too quickly. They're such fun units to use. Um, yeah, man, that is a real shame. Because that Kamehameha active skill for You're Blue Goji is so good. To suggest fusing. And then speaking of good active skills. We've got to get all the Gogetas out. So we actually have the whole turn is all Gogetas. And then will the active skill get the finish, though? That's the question. Because... Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's active skill, probably still my favourite one in the game. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Will he finish him off? It's time to unleash my most devastating attack. I'll finish you off with this. Ultra Big Bang, Ultra Big Bang Kamehameha. No. Okay, so we have a Whis active still. I'm very tempted to just do this. Like, <laughs> this Blue Gogeta is closer to Super Gogeta than Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, right? In terms of the uh, fist bow. Okay, because, yeah, you don't have Fused Fire, do you? Would that be dangerous? We still have the Whis active, though, so we should be okay. I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's probably a crazy... I probably should have just put LR Gogeta in this first slot and won. Or LR Super Saiyan 4. But we... Uh, have the Whis active. We know where the super attack is. 4.1. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Bit outdated. Double 180 leads, obviously, but still. I really thought we could uh, maybe get the finish with you. You're gonna get. Can you get the additional super as well? No. Letting the side down. He got four attacks, but three of them were normal attacks. And then Janemba even dodged the last one. Oh, and that one. Okay. <laughs> Double defense raise for you. So it looks like it really is going to come down to uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to finish the job. So uh, not what I was expecting to happen, but there you go. Um, but yeah, the full Gogeta team. I was just making sure you didn't get the dodge. Full Gogeta team versus the Janemba Red Zone stage. Obviously not the easiest way of doing it, but I just thought this would be kind of a fun 
way to do the stage. I did the video earlier where we used the Tech LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in the Bojack stage, which obviously did not go very well. Let me know what you think down below for some other stages. I think it would be kind of cool to do some of these videos where we're using teams that are appropriate to the Red Zone stage. I might do like... We could do like Rildo with just GT heroes before Super Saiyan 4. We could do Baby with only having like Super Saiyan 4 Goku. No Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or, Vegeta, uh, Gogeta or Vegeta. But let me know what you guys think down below. But that was the full v uh, Gogeta team versus Janemba Red Zone. Double 180 leads. So not bad. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.